Each one of these hand-sewn figures tells a story of trauma. They were made by survivors of domestic abuse as part of an ongoing Washington, D.C. workshop that helps women channel their experiences into creativity. This exhibit showcases their collective work, along with interpretive pieces by artist Marta Perez Garcia. It was Marta's advocacy, along with support from various D.C. organizations, that brought the doll-making workshop into being. It was really like a, like a community thing from all of us, and at the end, it was, you know, hugging, and I mean, I, I, I love all these women. The figures represent both pain and healing. They're purposefully made with fragile materials, like stockings, to make the creative process a delicate one, a symbol of the care needed to mend the physical and emotional toll of domestic violence. There was only one rule when making the dolls. They have free range. The only thing that I wanted all these dolls to have was a spine. And the spine, for me, was that metaphor of strength. Many who attended Marta's workshops also attended support group sessions together. Pueden expresar a través del arte todo el dolor y sacar, hacer un proceso catártico de todo lo que tienen dentro, de todo lo que les dejó, las huellas que les ha dejado el maltrato. One survivor says these programs were transformative. Ellos me han dado una fuerza que en verdad eh, que no puedo con qué agradecerle con tanto esmero que, que yo he tenido ahí en ese grupo. She made two dolls and says there was a huge difference between the first and the second. La primer muñeca la hice cuando yo estaba que me sentía así derrotada. Me sentía como una mujer uh, de esas mujeres abusadas que no tenía valor. Entonces dije yo, voy a hacerla así, como yo me sentía antes, sin fuerza, sin ganas de seguir adelante. Y ya después vine, hice la segunda, porque yo en lo que estaba yendo el grupo, ya me sentía una mujer ya más diferente. Marta says these women are much more than their past. They are just not survivors. They are just people that want to live, that want to study, that want to see their children grow, that want a good job, that just want to laugh. You know, so that's how we have to see this woman.